Welcome back. It's time to begin our journey in the vector's world. We will begin with a different representation of a vector. The first representation is the graphical one, a vector represented by a straight line. The start point or the tail point of the vector, let's define it as A and the end point as B. The another representation is AB. The arrow indicates the direction of the vector. It's pointing to the point B, therefore the direction of the vector towards point B. The length of the line represents the magnitude of the vector, which we write it as V in absolute value. Let's say that V is the vector and uh, we put it on these straight lines. If you had a little mathematical knowledge, you will ad identify it as the absolute value of a number. And it's always positive since it's the length of the vector. You will tell me, okay, Sally, I understand that. But you say that the vector also has a direction. Where is it? How it's represented? You are right. You, the direction of the vector is represented by the angle from the x-axis. We will deep dive into vector directions in a few lectures. In the next lecture, we will discover the vector types. See you at the next one.